Ooh. Oh, it's uh, really early Wednesday morning. I'm gonna buy myself a 6800 XT. How about that? So here we go. We're gonna hop on over to the Amazon page. Let's see, uh, what do we have here? This is the one I want and uh, okay. All right, well, how about, uh, how about Best Buy? Let's see how this one goes. Uh, 6800 XT, com coming soon. Coming, these are all, these are all coming soon. Okay. All right, how about, uh, how about trust the old Newegg? Let's see what Newegg has. Yeah, this is uh, not what I'm looking for. Yeah, here we go. This is it, shop now. Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, and out of stock. Yeah. Huh, so uh, I guess it looks like I can only buy this graphics card if I'm willing to buy a pre-built outright. And even then, supplies on the pre-built side are fairly limited. And I don't live anywhere near a micro center. And I heard the micro center didn't have many of them either. Oh, what the f The Corsair 4000D Airflow. It's a timeless mid tower with an emphasis on both cooling performance and efficiency. Cable management is a breeze thanks to plenty of room behind the motherboard tray and a dedicated routing channel. Fit up to six 120mm fans in here or four 140s along with accompanying radiators and enjoy an included Type-C connector up front along with an easy to install tempered glass side panel. And best of all, it's a pretty phenomenal value. Learn more about the Corsair 4000D below. So if you couldn't already tell, uh, this launch sucks. It's it's It sucks so hard that I feel like I have to make a video discussing the launch itself, how bad it is, and what we're going to do going forward, because uh, does it really make sense for us to just like throw all this coverage out there about a product that you cannot buy? I mean, I thought that Nvidia's launch was bad enough, but then to compound the issue, AMD goes and teases us with this card that pretty much no one can buy, and it looks like not a lot of media got the card either. Um, and, and my AIB partners who said they we were gonna receive these fairly early are, are now pushing us back a bit. So uh, inventory across the board seems relatively weak. I would say potentially weaker than Nvidia, uh, than Nvidia side. And, and that's that's saying something because Nvidia's launch sucked. I mean, that was a that was an awful launch. Um, not to say that most of these launches are ever really good, uh, but this one especially. I mean, just compounding with all the things happening in 2020, this launch was just downright awful. Uh, and then to, to just make matters worse, right? You don't even give people the option of buying them in stores. And Micro Center has said uh, that they don't have many. They weren't sent many. B&H and others weren't sent many. What are we supposed to do? I mean, if we can't buy them at all on reputable e-retailer websites and we can't buy them in store, where do we buy them? Oh, you mean I have to be a member of the team rate on early purchase alert? That makes a lot of sense. This is like a community uh, newsletter type deal where AMD sent people who signed up for this an early alert uh, about these cards hitting the shelves very soon, basically giving them early access to the queue so that they could buy these. And we've more or less confirmed that some of these purchases have gone through. Uh, this seems to be, ironically, the most successful um, place to buy the card straight from AMD. Uh, but uh, I just went there and... Um, it ain't, it ain't working anymore. So whatever stock they had has been fully liquidated and we are pretty much left with this. Yeah, uh, crap like this. Now there are a few legit scalped listings out there. I just want to start with this one because this one's freaking stupid. So this is the AMD Radon RX 6800 XT 16 gig GDDR6 Relabel Edition. What a smart ass. Like, come on, dude. This is just a waste of your time and mine. $888.88, and then you've got a frickin' post-it note. I know it's sideways, but you can read it. It says, Relabel Edition, quote, unquote, Radon RX 6800 XT. What? Like, what? What the hell? Please read carefully. This is a relabel edition. This card has faster floating point, uh, six, double precision, basically operation, than the recently released actual RX 6800 XT card available for immediate shipment. What you see in the pictures is what you get. Again, this is the relabel edition, so you won't see RX 1600 XT printed anywhere on the actual GPU card. Yes, you will get a real physical card, but it will actually be right on seven, hence why I called it relabel edition. What, what, what the f***? And another one, Radon RX 6800 XT Sadness Edition. I mean, it's all right. Made of 100% pure high quality paper. Yeah. And then you've got a few clowns actually trying to scalp these things. $1,400 OBO. This one's already bid up to over $1,000 with a confirmed PNG. They don't even have these cards in hand and they're still selling them. Uh, scalping them more specifically. Uh, just just disgusting. Someone actually managed to order one, it looks like, from Amazon. That's that's interesting. 
So there's a confirmation order here. And I'm assuming once they get the car, they're gonna ship it to you. And they're asking a measly 1500 bucks. You know, at first I was feeling a bit hesitant to recommend people just bid these things up for no apparent reason at all. But uh, this crap just needs to stop. I mean, the, the, like people have bid this 26 times up to $2,550. I'm assuming this is a troll. And frankly, I'm happy that it's a troll because you're gonna end up wasting this scalper's time and that's a win for us, right? From the gaming community, from the genuine gamers who want these cards for the real reasons, for the reasons that actually matter, for the reasons these cards were intended. Like I said, even if you're gonna mine with these graphics cards, at least you are using the cards effectively, efficiently. Scalpers aren't, do aren't even doing that. They're just buying the cards to sell them again at a huge markup. That hurts everybody who's actually interested in buying one for, uh, for a genuine reason, IMO. You might not agree with that. You might not agree with the mining part, but um, that's just how I feel. I'd rather you, I'd much rather you mine with this card, at least use it, uh, than just to buy it and, and sell it again and rip somebody off. Anyway, the other half of the equation is that people are willing to pay these outrageous prices for these cards. One thing I will say, I've noticed that there are, like, there are a few listings. There, there are not as many, though. Uh, it doesn't appear as though there are as many. I mean, look, right here, we're already out of it, pretty much. This one was, oh, Jesus, this one was bid up to $99,000. That, that one, uh, <laughs> that looks like a troll. And then you've got these really funny ones, like the EG4 6800 XT. This is a legit card, but it's not what people think. So uh, maybe their intentions here are a bit, uh, a bit mischievous. Anyway, it doesn't seem as though there are as many cards being scalped. And I think that's a testament ultimately to how many cards were available at launch. It's just, um, there, there are many of them. I think there are a lot fewer of these cards at launch than there were of uh, RTX 3080s and 3070s at time of, of, at those times of launches. So uh, this is one of those things where I, I'm kind of like, I'm trying not to point fingers here, but it's really difficult not to look back at AMD and say, what the heck were you thinking? If you had yields that were as bad as these, or if you had production issues related to any of the health concerns in 2020, et cetera, et cetera, whatever your excuse is, why on earth did you feel the need to release these cards now? Because all you're going to do is enable scalpers, first off, and the limited supply is always an opportunity for scalpers. You're gonna end up pissing off your real customers long term. I mean, this is your comeback, right? This is the this is the chance you had to gain back a lot of that consumer market share in the high-end graphics card space that has been in, it's been tilting in, at least, NVIDIA's favor for the past five or so years. I mean, this is a viable 3080 competitor, the 6800 XT. We've proved that in our recent review but you can't buy one. So what the heck is the point? And that's the next thing I wanna talk about. So I had high hopes for the several videos we were gonna release after our initial review of the card, uh, testing things exclusively like Rage Mode. I wanted to have a video specifically on Rage Mode, a video specifically about smart access memory uh, and how those, you know, how the graphics card and the CPU communicate, what kind of performance enhancements should you expect, any power draw uh, related consequences, thermal consequences, uh, and then of course the 6800 versus the RTX 3070 video that uh, that we're working on still. Um, those videos, I feel like, what, what's the point? I mean, it's the same thing with the RTX 3080 and 3070 cards. It's like, if I release a review now, I mean, that's great. I guess I'm kind of preparing you for when those cards are widely available. We expect eventually they will be widely available. Uh, but as of right now, I mean, the video, is just it's not gonna do very well because nobody can buy one. And, and because they can't buy one, they're feeling, well, what's the point? I don't blame you for thinking that. And that kind of hurts us as, as reviewers as well, as content creators, because this, we, I mean, we kind of rely on these, like these next pushes from companies to kind of reinvigorate our PC builds, our reviews, the different testing configurations, the different experiments that we might happen to do. Um, what's the point? I mean, if, if no one can buy these cards, why should they feel the need to click on said video? And, and then you wonder why we don't publish so many of these videos back to back to back. I mean, we did the same with, with Ampere. It's just like, what's the point? I think we have our official review of the 3080 and then we have a 3080 AIB review and that's it because half the comments in that 3080 AIB review were, wow, this is a great car, but I can't buy it. So what's the point? And again, totally justified. It's just, 
freaking frustrating. Anyways, uh, I'm done with this launch. I'm just, it, it pisses me off. Yeah, we might throw one or two of these cards in PC builds, but uh, when it comes to reviews, deep dives, things like that, things I was motivated to do two or three years ago, what the crap is the point now? I mean, I mean, genuine question. Why should I bother investing all this time into experimenting and testing products that my core audience, my consumers at large, cannot even buy? Uh, so I'll leave you with that. Uh, happy hunting. If you do happen to find one, Four round MSRP, jump on it. I think they are great cards for MSRP, maybe a little above MSRP if you're a bit impatient. Okay, sure, there's a, usually a cost factor associated there, but certainly not double MSRP or even triple MSRP. Listings like this are just, this This is just so freaking annoying. Uh, it's like a cool picture, bro. And then you've got, oh, you've got some stock images. Oh, cool. So that's what I'm getting. Cool. All right, nice. If you guys like the video, thumbs up, subscribe. I'm pissed. I know you're probably pissed too. Um, like Just because I'm sent a single card for review does not mean that I don't feel the same frustrations you do. Usually, um, I go ham and I, I, I do all kinds of, make all kinds of videos on this stuff. But uh, as of late, especially with Ampere and now RDNA 2, it's just kind of a buzzkill. Uh, so it's frustrating on the creator side for me and I'm sure it's frustrating on the consumer side uh, as well, just not being able to even entertain the thought of buying one because the only ones available are this expensive. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's all I really have to say about that. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel and uh, stay tuned for next video. Probably something a bit different just to kind of break out of this awful mold for a while. My name's Greg. Thanks for, thanks for crying with me. I'm going to say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>